What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Plants vs Zombies 2 video. Now, I found a battle strategy for you guys and it is free to play. Like you don't need any mints. Like obviously there is that laser beam and spearman combo but this one, I mean you can work with. So I'll just show you how this one works. I'll just play one match. This is how you want to keep it. Okay. And the thing is, you get a lot of sun, so you don't have to bother about that. These are primal walnuts, obviously, you know about them. Now, the thing is, they are pretty cheap. Unlike the winter melon they are targeting. But don't worry, you get a lot of sun real quickly. Okay, I just did a stupid one over, but nothing too absurd we cannot live with. Now, I don't like these guys. These have to go. I mean, they are the worst ones in the game, which you have to counter. Now, here's the thing. We are going to do this. And that's it. Basically, it's just using primal potato mine at the right time and use winter melons to stall. That's the strategy. And it's working wonders so far. I won't say it's working wonders. I just say for free to play. I guess this is the best strategy so far. That I've figured out. Now we have a lot of sun right. So we don't have to bother about that. Just gonna place that there. I think I missed out on the plant food effect. Thankfully, it's in that lane in which we don't care about. Okay, now they are swarming a little bit, which I personally am not comfortable with. think I messed up somewhere down the line in the strategy. There's a lot of stuff coming down, so... This should work. And then I'm just gonna keep using plant food on these. Okay, this turned out worse than my previous place, so I apologize for this one. <laughs> but don't worry, it's not that bad of a strategy, trust me. You guys just need to get a little bit familiar with it. Which I'm clearly not. Okay, so again, I'm just gonna go with the winter melons. Okay, they are spamming a lot of stuff. I'm gonna go with another one of these. I mean, primal potato mines rock. I'm probably not going to win this. So, don't worry. I'll just play another one after this. With 30 seconds left, I doubt. Also, another thing you have to keep in mind is that these... Um, I think they are called... I'm not even sure what they're called. Um, ferrets, I guess. The thing with the ferrets is they don't die by your lightning greed. So just keep that in mind when you're going out with them. Okay, this was the first match, but I won't count this, obviously. I didn't play well. Usually you get around 600,000 to 900,000. Okay, I just unlocked Daisy Chains, so you know which video is coming up next. <laughs> I didn't even think I'll be unlocking Daisy Chains this time. Because I am just too weak to defeat Edgar's Zomb boss. Damn, that's a lot of stuff. This is amazing. I love it. Anyways, um... I think I won't unlock daisy chains right now. I'll do it tomorrow with you guys. Today is all about strategy. So I'm guessing his image is a walnut. Okay, we are going to go with this. And we're just going to go do a thing. Reload. The thing I'm thinking of is removing the first lane with the lightning reed and switch it up with the 
twin sunflower simply because of those jumping ones i don't know which zombies those are uh, i apologize for not knowing that but you know those weird ones um the one which you face in wild west you know what i'm talking about we just straight up skip everything this one who's coming right up i hate him i can probably use olive pits okay i don't know why i do that it's just silly of me now another amazing thing is wintermelon puts out the fire like the fire on you know um i don't know the names of the zombies just i apologize for that okay so let's just hope that the lightning greed is able to kill them you know what the first lane is going to get destroyed anyway i'm just going to skip it for now okay i'm going to just use more primal potato mines cause they're amazing okay so we're going to just regroup so obviously i'd say it's working out slightly better than last time and now that has fires out even he shouldn't be much of an issue okay we need more primal potato mines i mean obviously you can never have enough of them just wash those ferrets go and just like that he destroyed everything the ferrets are brutal don't take them lightly okay we've got more mines i think this should take care of a decent majority of them yeah i guess i can live with all that well the chickens will die obviously the gargantua i'm not so sure about you know what at this point i think i'll be fine if i just keep spamming primal potato mines my objective is to cross 600000 cuz that's usually the threshold you want to cross which most of the times you will be able to do with this tech so don't worry about that a lot more sun okay these guys should die 10 seconds left i'm just going to go with this right here and pop that one up 575 close enough i think even if you just do this much you should be sitting pretty cause most of the times the opponents don't reach these scores so yeah i think this should work fine for a free to play one if you don't have any other strategy i'd suggest you use this one and another reason why i strongly suggest playing right now is it's only if you're interested in unlocking the olive pit at this point for those of you who have unlocked the olive pit i don't know why do you even want to play battles but for those who haven't unlocked olive pit and don't have a strategy right now i suggest you use this this one is working out amazing or well comparatively better so anyways i'll end it off here if you guys did enjoy please do leave a like and subscribe and as always thank you guys for watching peace out